We've got a kicker signing to break down on today's show. So welcome into the Broncos breakdown by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson here delivering the news that we all knew would be coming at some time in the near future. We just didn't know exactly when and exactly who. But Tom Pelissero breaking the news that the Broncos are signing kicker Elliot Fry, Denver Cup veteran Brandon McManus last week, and didn't have another kicker on the roster. So Fry, who has appeared in three NFL games, now sits atop the depth chart. So let's get to know Elliot Fry a little bit in today's video. We'll talk about McManus, and I'll give you my thoughts and takes as a whole. But Elliot Fry is relatively untested. Uh, he last appeared in an NFL regular season game in 2021 for the Bengals. He has played three games. For three different teams, I am dubbing him the Josh Johnson of kickers, right? He's got a rainbow closet with a whole bunch of different uniforms because he's been on a whole bunch of different practice squads, but very little regular season action. He has played for a grand total of 11 different, 11 different teams between the NFL and the Alliance Legion of American Football. I don't remember what it's called. The Orlando Apollos back in like 2019 or something. He was a UDFA in 2017 coming out of South Carolina. I went to Tennessee, so when I saw they signed Elliott Fry, I was like, where do I know that name from? I was like, oh yeah, he broke my heart 2016 against the Vols. Now, when we look at Fry's NFL career, he has been largely a practice squad slash off-season type of player. He first made his NFL debut-ish with the Bears in 2019, but again, just as a practice squad player. He bounced around that year, went to Baltimore. The next year, he was in Carolina and Tampa Bay. He found a brief home. He kind of got the chance to stay more than just a month or two with Atlanta from 2021, 2020 to 2021, but he only kicked in one game for the Falcons. Then that same season, he goes over to Kansas City and kicks one game. 2021, he's back to the practice squad with Green Bay. Then he kicked for the Bengals in 2021 and the Jags in 2022, and the Cardinals, he was on the practice squad, signed earlier this offseason, and he was released a couple of weeks ago. Now, anytime a move is made, we get you guys a video on it. No joke, I was in the car, leaving to go to the airport for a wedding in Park City. My girlfriend's in the parking lot right now, furious. I told her, we can't miss Elliot Fry, baby. It's just that type of video. So, hey, make sure to subscribe. Never miss a single piece of Broncos news when you are subscribed to the channel. Plus, we're almost at 14,000 subs, so let's get this done for Elliot Fry. Let's have Elliot Fry be the guy that pushes us across 14,000 subscribers and also causes me to miss my flight to Salt Lake City. So we're coming, American. Hold the plane. Now, Elliot Fry in his career, there's not a whole lot out there. He's five for six, which is good, I guess, right? And he, I, I don't know, Jim. 83.3 field goal percentage, five for seven on extra points. He is largely untested, right? This is a move after having him in for a workout last week where Denver tried out a couple different kickers, including Brett Maher, and we'll look at some other kickers later on, and ultimately decided we're going to go with Elliot Fry. So I'm not blown away that they went this direction because with the McManus route, it was a pretty you know notable name, or well, excuse me, uh, a veteran player, and this time they kind of go the complete opposite direction. I think that's part of Sean Payton wanting to you know, revamp the entire special teams unit as a whole. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you guys what your one word reaction is to the signing, because I know it's not super easy to come up with a hard take coming out of this, but I am curious, you know, what is your one word reaction for the Broncos signing Elliot Fry? Um, for me, I'll, I'll give it a mind in just a moment, but if you want to go with who, I don't know, who cares is one word. You're not wrong because this is not a household name as far as kickers go. For me, my one word, competition. Like bring more competition in. I want to see Denver bring on some more competition for a guy that's only kicked in how many games? Like three games altogether? I don't know if you should be handing someone the starting job after just three games. Now, we're going to talk about special teams as a whole in just a second. But first things first, we've got a great deal going on with our friend at Fanatic. So if you go to chatsports.com slash Broncos Combo, you don't just get one shirt. You get two shirts on sale. So two shirts for the price of one, you just can't beat that type of deal. So make sure you check it out right now. 
That deal's not going to last forever. That link will last forever in the comments and the description of today's video. So scroll on down, click on it, and get a two-for-one t-shirt combo deal. Now, like I was saying, I think Denver should absolutely bring on some more competition. It's probably not going to be any of these guys because they're not looking to come and compete, right? They're kind of at the status of the NFL where Robbie Gold is not leaving his, you know, golf course in Chicago right now to go compete with Elliott Fry in Denver. So it might not be one of these five more notable names, but just me or does someone else think that maybe someone who's only had three games of NFL experience and has kicked a grand total of six field goals in real football since his time in 2017 in South Carolina maybe should, I don't know, not just be given the starting job with zero competition. So do not be surprised if Denver adds another kicker during training camp, a UDFA of some sorts, to make sure the best player rises to the top. Now, Elliot Fry does have big shoes to fill in for BMAC. Last season, McManus, 28 for 36. That field goal percentage, 77.8, was bottom half of the league for qualifying kickers. But we know that McManus was a staple of this team. He was the longest tenured player on this team before he was released, the last member of the 2015 Super Bowl roster. So McManus as a whole was a part of a complete gutting of the special teams unit. So that's where you get Elliott Fry as sort of like the last piece of the puzzle for Sean Payton to go in there and like, you know, home makeover edition, just completely tear it down completely because last year was a disastrous special teams unit and McManus wasn't a bright spot in it. So I'm not terribly surprised they decided to save three plus million dollars and move on from a player who kicked sub 80% from field goal percentage last season. But Fry, he's a very unproven player. There is not a whole lot out there on him. Now, maybe he'll be a good kicker. I'm not going to pretend to be a kicker guru and go, guys, I was watching his tape. I'm telling you his plant foot is just teach tape material. I don't know that type of stuff when it comes to a player who's only had three games in the NFL. But if he impressed during the workout, I don't know if that means he was just the best of the rest. It wasn't a very intense competition. They only brought in two other players. Um, or it means they see they, a diamond in the rough. A diamond in the rough that... 10 other teams have passed on so far in the NFL. A bit of a head scratcher. Like, don't you think if he was really a star in the making, one of those teams that had him on their practice squad might have held on to him? Not all those teams had a Justin Tucker, right? So you would think like a team maybe like the Falcons, they had Young Way Koo, or I don't know, the Bengals, before they got McPherson, might have decided to hold on to Elliott Fry. That's just kind of my two cents on the matter. But hey, We'll find out if he's any good or not, and hopefully he is. Hopefully he's banging kicks through, beating the Raiders week one. Now, i got to sign off. I've got to go to the airport. I will see everyone later with more Broncos news and rumors.